well, well, well. Um, today is going to be also, again, a uh, another test stream. Um, we're going to try to stream Resident Evil 2, and hopefully the stream won't be shit, and we can actually stream it. And we'll have to do, like, a dual PC thing, I'm hoping. Um, and if it doesn't end up working out, then we'll just do, um, some Dark and Darker. I guess I'll do, like, Solo or something. I don't know. Um, and, uh, I'll play some of that, uh, and see how that works out. I don't know. I don't know, man. So, hopefully this works, because I played about 30 minutes of it. 36 minutes of it and um yeah it's it's uh it's pretty epic so far there's some compliments i have to give to it at the moment uh i'll, I'll give said compliments to it when we start so i'm gonna close everything uh no discord i i usually have discord open on my computer but it's not like I'm going to get any notifications anyways because I have streamer mode on. But there we go. Uh, I should probably close this out. I don't know why I have that open. Eh, whatever. It's fine. I don't think it uses that much. Um, whatever you call it. But we'll see. We'll see how this works out. Because I am curious to see how my computer will handle me streaming a newer game with... Uh, OBS on the same computer. Whenever it launches, it does um, use a decent amount of. Uh, it does heat up a little bit the the motherboard or the CPU or whatever, but um, should hopefully start calming down here. Let's see. Is it gonna notice? Is it gonna recognize the game? Do I need to click it? Because so I can't leave the border. Alright, alright. Hold on. Let me fix this. I think it's because it's doing a... a borderless mode. Unless that's literally all I can do. Is that seriously all I can do? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, settings available when HDR is supported. What the fuck is HDR? HUD is on tutorials. That's fine. Color space is sRGB. Okay. Camera. That's fine. I'm trying to find. Okay. I guess. Ah. Graphics memory has, um, has been colored red due to high uh, usage. Serious bugs may occur. Which ones? Oh, because of the... Okay, hold on. Uh, what would fix this pretty well? Okay. I'll turn the, uh, the hertz down, because I don't need it to be that high. Actually, that's literally not changing anything, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's not changing anything. Which one do I want to do? I guess I'll just go to the computer's hertz uh, refresh rate. I keep saying hertz, but the computer's refresh rate variable. Uh, Vsync on. What will fix this? Oh, that's why. How about now? Why is that texture quality up? I, I thought I turned that down. That's weird. Okay. Lighting quality does not need to be max, by the way. That can get turned down. I think I remember messing with that earlier. It's like... Okay, first of all, it's not even showing the gameplay. Oh my fucking god. No. Alright. Dude. Dude. Bro. 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 <laughs> Bro. You did not just do that. 
Oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Don't be promoting shit. Please stop doing that. Okay, let me try fixing this. Chris. Uh, game capture. Oh, that's why. Capture any full screen application. It was still set to that. Let's try it now. Is it, will it work? Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay. I think everything else should be okay. Uh, I don't know why uh, this got turned up. Texture quality. It got, like, shot straight up for no reason. Even though I didn't specifically tell it to do that. And another thing it turned up, um, depth of field, I turned that off. And I also turned these off. And it uh, changed those settings. So that's that's really cool of this game to do. Uh, film noise, for some reason, it um, kept that turned off. Uh, I don't I don't know. Film, sure. Keep film noise on. I... Uh, depth of field. Fucking bullshit. Okay. I don't know why I'd want to do motion blur. There's no reason to have motion blur. Just makes the quality of, like, the, the stream, like, worse. So uh, I'll turn those. Uh, yeah. Ray tracing is off. I don't think I need ray tracing. Whoa. So freaking cool, dude. I know that my computer does have ray tracing, but I don't... There's no reason to have it on. I don't care. Okay. I think this is... Everything's good. I don't know why it changed it, because I changed this, and then it was like, Okay, I guess we'll just do whatever. Why does ultra quality? So. I literally can't tell the difference between these two. <laughs> What's the difference? I know that this, this looks better. You know. I guess performance. There's no reason to not have it on. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it did that, but we're going to do a new game, and we're going to play as not Claire. We're going to play as Leon. Um, we'll see how this uh, works out. We're going to do um, what is this? aim assist, recover a certain amount of health automatically. Enemies are a little weaker. Saving requires an ink ribbon, no autosave, and stronger enemies. We'll just do standard, the standard game. All right, let's see how the computer handles. Yeah, I'm serious handles this it probably will handle this better than uh gta 4 last friday night i was walking home from the bar this woman started coming towards me she was staggering you know so i figured she was drunk okay tell us be honest now how many drinks did you have no man i it looks like john tron the beard Oh, fuck. I just realized something. Um, it's gonna be... It's kinda quiet right now. So I'm gonna need to fix this. And I don't wanna pause it. Okay, I can pause it. Okay, good. Okay, hold on. I need to turn volume up on my end. I'll change it to 50. And I'll turn it up for you guys as well. There we go. And then also click out of this. So I can see everything. Okay. You should see my mouse. This is like full speed for me, but for you, it's a little bit slower. Uh, and then I will return and I'll keep watching. Usually OBS kind of shows what the feed looks like. So if there's any lagging on OBS, usually it will show it. Just getting good. Oh, 
Owie. Shit. When they cast John Tron for this uh, part in the uh, Resident Evil 2 remake, uh, they wanted to make sure that he uh, did the same facial expressions he does on his uh, on his um, YouTube videos. Guys, we know what music Leon likes. Oh my god. <laughs> also, his hair's brown. Or no one's around. dirty blonde? Brown or dirty blonde? I guess it's brown. I don't know why he dyes his hair blonde Weird. in uh, Resident Evil <laughs> 4. Right? I guess it's dirty blonde? I can't tell. I literally can't tell. Blood! At a gas station? What the heck? Look at that depth of field I specifically said to turn off. Unless that's just... Did it actually change my fucking graphic settings again? No. It just... Is it? Is that because of the fucking film grain? Why is it so blurry? Why is that so blurry? It's even worse without my glasses. What the fuck? I feel like it, this is because of the, um... Hmm. Hold on. Let me turn this off. It's basically the same. What is that? It's like a weird, like... Filter. I'll, I'll keep that on. But... Is it the... It can't be the anti-aliasing, right? Frame rate is variable. Maybe it's this. Oh, wow. Maybe it is. Wow. Okay, hold on. Yeah. That's what it was. That's what's doing it. It was the, um... That filter. Okay, well, I'm turning it back on. Because <laughs> now that I know what the issue was, it was the um, rendering is normal image quality. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put it to ultra quality. And just kind of deal with that. It might be a little bit choppy for you. Uh, probably because... It's 60 FPS for you, but for me, I see it at a higher resolution, so it's a little bit easier for me to notice. Unless it genuinely is just, like, that bad. I don't know. I see why that people use ray tracing, I guess. But, um, and here's the car. If you walk in the uh, rain, your character reacts. It's kind of cool. I like this effect. That's a cool effect. You can read this. Dingo red cigarettes. Uh, when, <clears throat> when life has you seeing red, enjoy the wild taste of dingo red cigarettes. Get wild. Now on sale. Celebrating a hundred years of service, uh, Cordis Painting Company, you can call that number, it's totally a real number, and then a sign that says Raccoon City. I'm kind of curious on what happens if you walk out of the border. So it says Raccoon City, we'll just walk. 
what happens. Nothing out here. <laughs> Nothing out here. Well, thanks for, you know, I guess paying attention to that. I don't know why they wouldn't, but. Is there anything I can grab from the... Yeah, he starts wiping himself off once you get in the outside. Um, I do have the ability to do a... There's a telephone. Um, wow. Gas is only a dollar? Fuck. That hurts. It hurts. That tells you uh, what year this is, um, because the game does the game even explicitly tell you, like what year this is in? Because if it doesn't, then that's obviously a telltale sign is the prices. If that's supposed to simulate real world prices on gas, that's pretty epic. I I know I keep like walking around this place, but. She riff. I like that she riff. Bag of ice is two dollars. That's a rip off. <laughs> it's fucking ice. Free air though. All right. Well, that's pretty good. Only some places do that. Let's have fun. Refresh your mind. Sparkling cool. Love these ads. Snack sale. <laughs> Whoa. Coffee, special blend. Limited offer, beer on sale. And it says, a little wine to wind down the day. <laughs> At a gas station stop. Nice face. Hello? Anybody there? No noises. Something's not right. Now, I've already played this sequence. I already know everything about it. I've, I think I've seen the entire game at this point through play, Let's Plays and stuff. Um, let's see. I just want to look at this stuff. Let's see. Please have your ID ready. Dollar twenty-five for a pack of ciggies. We don't sell tobacco to miners. Tobacco. It's like this whole place is here to sell tobacco. And uh, cheap hamburgers. It's good shit. There's also a turnaround button. Normally it would be the A button. Like you hit A instead. Can I change that? Type A. Let's see. Also I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. But it's basically the exact same thing. So run, switch ammo is right bumper, and then right trigger is attack, sub, get ready, sub weapon, quick turn is A, what if you do type B, quick turn is to hit backwards and that, run is B, A is interact, what's type C, that's the switch ammo, okay, what's the run button, this, okay. So type A is, is what they, I guess, intend. Type B seems a little bit more what I'm used, what I would be used to. But also a little bit kind of odd that you can't just do back in A and then interact. Because that's what a lot of the games established at, you know, but I guess we're going to do it like that, whatever. I have a lot of stuff here. There's nothing back here, by the way. Unless there is something back there. Come on. Yeah, what the fuck? There's nothing back here. You'll see later. Hold on. You all right? You all right? 
Don't move. I'll be back for you. Poor guy. Doesn't fucking do any. Didn't do anything wrong, you know what I'm saying? Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Big mistake. Oh my god, you're getting so much lag. Yeah, you're getting so much lag for this cutscene. Holy shit. Wow, you got so much lag for that cutscene. Shit. What the? Damn. So cutscenes are, are pretty bad for you. They probably have a lot more stuff that they're rendering. So that's why. Oh, nice. Fucking classy, dude. Classy shit. And you can examine items to then change what they say. Which is cool. No way. This can't be. Oh my god. It, the game pauses whenever you do these, so... Pretty much, it's it's like, oh my god, oh my god, there's a zombie behind here out of nowhere. What the heck? Oh my god, cutscene. Okay, that this cutscene's fine. <laughs> Did they really need to do like a hyper realistic cutscene? <laughs> That has like a billion so. polygons. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. When we're safe. Holy shit. You can thank me later. <sighs> now his hair looks dirty blonde. Come on. Get in. Hold on. Guess we're not stopping to get gas. <laughs> Come on, make a joke. Make a joke, Leon. Make a cringy joke. I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Ugh. Come on. Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Clear. Clear Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Make jokes! Make cringy, over-the-top jokes. Come on, Leon. And now they're doing their Netflix special intro. Where it's like... Weirdly cinematic or something. This is a movie. You are currently playing... Resident Evil 2. Whoa. What does it mean? Footsteps. Soldiers? Red light. Cars. Oh my god. No freaking way. Raccoon City is off the grid. Attention all citizens. Uh-huh. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Whoa. God, this is so unreal. Station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. There has to be.
Damn, that's tough. Guess we're going on foot. Looks like we're walking from here. Oh. Looks like we're walking from here. Uh, I think we need to uh, step on the gas. More like running. More like running. Yeah, good call. <laughs> yeah, good call. <laughs> so serious. I mean, the the acting's good. It's just it's not Resident Evil. The point of Resident Evil, just like Need for Speed, is that it has to have over the top cringe acting. It's, it's like supposed to be like a classic horror movie. No, John Tron. John Tron did a good deed before he passed. He managed to help Leon and Claire get out of a sticky situation. Um, until he dies in a second here. And ruptured lungs, broken spine, broken bones, broken ribs. Uh, shouldn't be walking right now because, um, Claire! that's not how explosions Claire, okay? work. Yeah. He should be dead. I'm all right. how about you? you? can't stay here, it's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. Okay. Hi. Let's Stop. get out of here. Like cheekies, we just like caused a huge explosion. There should be more cars blowing up. Oh yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. You're supposed to go this way. Might be. Shit. It's everybody. They've all turned. Shit. Shit. There it is. <sighs> The station. The station. Looks like we're saved. I cannot see the film grain on. Did I turn that off? I thought I turned it back on. Okay, I did. The film noise or whatever the fuck they call it. No! Thank God the Raccoon City Police Station is completely armed with a, a locking mechanism like this. And there's a fence uh, surrounding the entire building. Very good. You can open it like that or you can push it open. As you walk in, we're in. Hello? Is anybody here? <laughs> I'm so wet. God. Good lord. What is that? Bakery bread? In Malboro? <sighs> what Tashi is this place? <sighs> Handgun ammo. Okay. So I have seven bullets. Okay. So it doesn't just take all my ammo away. Got it. Role playing district. There has to be someone here. Come on. I need someone to RP with me. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? No. I found a way out. It's in here. <laughs> 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 
criminal on the loose. Here's footage of what the criminal looks like. It's good shit. Main hall. I gotta find that guy. I gotta find that guy. Okay. View map. Making use of the map. The map screen is useful for more information than just your current location and surroundings. It can also uh, show you any points of interest and items you found, but you haven't picked up. Um, that you... Items you have found, but haven't picked up. Okay. Got it. So we need to go to the watchman's room. Got it. There's some other stuff here. Orientation letter. Officer Leon Kennedy, on behalf oh on behalf of the RPD, um, congratulations on completing your training. You uh, your especially high marks are to be commended, and we couldn't be prouder to have you as a member of our force. Please report for orientation at the Raccoon City Police Station on Friday, September twenty fifth at eight AM. We look forward to serving with you. Raccoon City Police Chief Brian Irons. Uh, um, again, they don't specify the year. Uh, this is probably 1999, around when the game came out. I think the game came out in 1999. When did uh, this game come out? I actually don't know. But, mmm, crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Maybe it'll look better on stream. Who knows? I have no idea because if I pull up uh, the stream now, actually, let's test it. I'm gonna pull up. Um, I'm gonna pull up the stream on here. And I'm gonna watch the stream. So it's it's. Uh, I'm streaming at 720p, 60 frames per second. Okay. So I'm going to start the, the game. Okay. I'm going to start playing. I'm going to start moving this around. Damn, dude. You're getting you're getting a decent quality right now. <laughs> yeah, I see why. Immediately whenever I turned the stream on, it got worse, so yeah, I want to be not doing that. I want to be um. Not I don't want to have Chrome open while I'm playing this game. That's what I'm learning from this. Damn. Anyways, so we have some st stuff. We have some things to look at. Uh, I could ask somebody to come watch the stream and just kind of see if it's good. Um, I guess I could just to make sure that everything's all right and it hasn't been, you know, bad. Let's see. Uh, who is online that I can ask to check out the stream to make sure everything's okay? Um. Could ask this guy. All right, let me uh let me reset this and see if we get some better information. Okay. So there's about there's about zero point six percent or so. I think it should be fine, but I'm gonna look at everything here and see what we get. So we have this, which we can't do anything with. I think it marks it on the map. I'm gonna come over here. There's uh this can't do anything with this 
And then there's that door over there where we clearly need to go, but I'm gonna explore some of this place first. Because it's wacky and funny. Um, another thing I wanted, so one of my things I wanted to praise this game for was, um, how the character feels whenever you're moving him around. The camera doesn't move as much as you think. So as you're moving around here, um, it, it just feels, it just feels really good. It feels like the, uh, it feels like the character has, like, momentum to it. Like that. Okay, there's an ad. Thanks, Delta. Once he pops up here. So, as you're walking, you see how the, the camera isn't completely following the character. Um, so, like, if I move all the way to the right, the camera's kind of reflecting that and all the way to the left. So, your camera kind of stays in, in the spot that it needs to be. So, it's, it's not, like, completely stuck to the character. Which is really cool, because I don't see a lot of games doing this. And it's just, like, it feels really good. So, like, I can feel, or at least my, my brain, my brain is, 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 um, kind of, uh, doing whatever. Uh, Delta, do you, if you're still here, um, is it, is it, like, lagging or anything? Does it look pretty okay? Does it look like it's 60 frames? Um. Whoa, look at that wet... Wet wall. Mmm. Damn. I love... I love how wet everything is. Mmm. <laughs> what the... What the fuck? My computer just crashed and rebooted by itself. Okay. I'm, my stream isn't... Is too powerful. And there's this. You could probably guess this if you... Guessed long enough. There's some stuff going on with that. I I don't even know what that is. I is it supposed to be water? Because I'm pretty sure the ceiling isn't dripping. So I don't know what's going on there. So every time you're walking. Huh. Okay, so we can go into here. No, we can't. There's a um, there's a door on the opposite side. That's pretty, pretty all right. Huh? Wait. A green herb. Whoa. Yeah. The reason. Why I'm doing this is, uh, cause you get, a uh, a green herb, and also some more lore in this room. But your character will open the door slowly. But you can also manually open it, I guess, if you get close enough. I don't know. But it just closes by itself because there's a, uh, a rogue entity, uh, controlling the door. Herb. And then we have some lore. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know? Well, we are the home of, uh, of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation. Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. And this guide will introduce you to just a few more unusual uh, points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of the town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded by, uh, founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Oh god, an orphanage. <laughs> Yeah, I believe this is the game that introduces the entire lore to the game, pretty much, uh, to the series. 
uh, Umbrella Corporation. Actually, no, Umbrella Corporation was in the first game, might be, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff in this game that's almost entirely introduced into the lore, which is epic. Play epic and uh, stuff. Is it okay? Uh, we'll see. I haven't heard anything from him. Uh, and then recovery items. As you da take damage, your health monitor in the bottom left will drop from fine to caution to danger. When in danger, quickly heal yourself to with a green herb or first aid spray before it's too late. Yeah, they, they kind of have the simple... Wow, look at that. It has a yellow and green to it. Look at that. Whoa. Dude, crazy. Green herb native to the Arc, uh, the Arclay Mountains. It will restore a small amount of health. Why do we just have this sitting in the Raccoon City building? Who knows? Here's some first aid recovery spray. Healing spray that will restore you to full health. Imagine if we had these in real life. That would be fantastic. But we don't get that. So we still have that storage room key. I don't... I don't see any reason why to have this. I think when it has a check mark, it means that you can get rid of it. It's been used and you don't need it anymore. I think that's what it means. Yeah, X is to move things. That's nice. It's not as good of a um, item kind of um, system. I I wouldn't. I don't like it nearly as much as Resident Evil Four. So maybe hopefully they will do something with that. I I hope so. Wait, what did that say about uh recovery or? Using key items. When you need to use a key item to unlock and solve a puzzle, select the... Okay, never mind. Okay. Alright. So we've gotten pretty much everything in this area. Um, we're gonna save and then uh, move on. We have a inventory space here for stuff and we have okay that was that okay i guess it's saved let's go ahead and uh do this and we're gonna have to actually crawl out uh, into this this is keep out but blood everywhere damn And it's closed on us. <laughs> what is this? So we need a circuit breaker thing. Wait, what did my gun say? 12 shot capacity, 9mm poly um, polymer uh, frame handgun. Non-standard issue gun with problems that make it impractical for the general public. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's a fine weapon. Let me see down the barrel. Oh, that's a fine weapon. I tell you what, Matilda. It it's it's a gun. There's ammo. That whoa. What does this say on there? It says um, maximum standard handgun, hunting ammunition, handgun high velocity maximum standard. That's all it says on the entire packaging. Where's the nutritional value? Where, where's the nutritional facts, huh? How much a uh, bullet per calorie? Could see it. Oh, 
That's not what I was looking for. What is this? Are these a bunch of dead people? Can't really read the text that well. Uh. Okay. So this is a funny wet place. We can walk through this if we wanted to. There's a door here. Can't open it. It's for some reason flooded. Uh. I don't know why that is. Okay. Yeah, it's all flooded. What the hell? It's to have the exact same cold drinks. Okay, so the, the vending machine is like wood, wood grain kind of going on, so... I don't know. There's something about that. I don't. We don't have those normally. You got this. You got this. Okay. I got this. I got this. You know. Okay, so we can enter through there. I can move this. They brought this back, for some reason, in Resident Evil 4's remake, so you'll see that again. Uh, no more quick time events. Unless they feel like it. So what is this room? This is the press room. I love the, uh... Yeah. Is there something in here? There's a button. Hello there, button. Whoa! Oh. Dead guy. Combine. Are you gonna come back to life? I love the the sound effects. The like the creaking of like the wood and stuff is freaky. So, uh, we emptied this room. There was a whole box of ammo in this one. The only thing I wish you could do is um, like switch between perspectives, just like um. Uh, because the R3 is completely not used. There's no R3. And you could easily have R3 switch between left and right perspectives. Um, which, you know, again, is Metal Gear Solid 5 perfected that. And no other place for some reason does that. Or place, uh, no other game for some reason does that. And it's weird because it does help. You know, like if you're, if you're ever against the wall here... You have to basically do this. You have to come all the way out before you can even see here. Meanwhile, if you were to do it from over here, you can see pretty much everything from there all the way to here before you even have to poke your head out. And it's like, obviously in this game, it shouldn't really matter, but it is a thing that helps with peeking if you're not going to add any kind of leaning, which is really, really hard to do even on... A uh, controller like you can't really do that unless you forfeit some other things but on a you know just being able to do that is really nice hello why can we fix that Oh, first seat spray. Thanks. Now, this game is no Silent Hill, I tell you what. Silent Hill knows how to do horror. Or at least the... Up to the third one. Um, well, actually, the first one, I wouldn't say is necessarily creepy, but there are creepy moments in it. Jesus. 
Yeah, Jesus. Dude, you need to calm down. I'll get you out. Please. Come here, help me. I got you. Give me your other hand. Ow. What the fuck? Jesus. Chills. What the fuck? Officer's notebook. Okay. Way out. Got a statue. Three medallions. You go under the statue, through the rooms, down an elevator, question mark, upstairs, parking lot, then way out, and then there's the little horse with some icons there that's kind of hard to see. Uh, these are the different ones, so... Okay. So each one of them holds a medallion that we then have to take to the goddess statue. Got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ow, fuck. Oh my god. I got bitten, so... I'm in here. I got bitten. Oh my god. You guys never played COD Zombies, you silly? Ah, fuck. No. Ow. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Wait, I was bitten, so I'm going to turn, right? Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I, I could I could Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. I got my gear. Honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! <gasps> save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. 
And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yay, a combat knife. Try to screen a combat knife wears down with use and will break when its gauge is depleted. You ready? And then you slash it. Can be used as a counterattack if you press LB when you are caught by an enemy and you can use it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Well, for me, uh, I'm in caution. I'm going to use. Uh, use this herb. Herb. And then move the knife over. Okay, I'm ready, sir. So I need to go get the parts. He's busy dying, but that's okay. I'm gonna solve this raccoon mystery. That is a weird... Okay, it's not gonna do it again. So this is the funny lion. And we need uh, to... Actually, I need to save. But I'm not going to let myself get hit. Again. For some reason, I'm I'm still under the um, influence that... Uh, I keep thinking I'm playing Resident Evil 4. And when I get grabbed, uh, I'm just... Uh, for some reason, thinking that I can just... Shake the stick left and right. And it'll just get them off. But that's not how it works here. Um... Uh, there is no way for you to... Yeah, and I have to really, really avoid zombies. Uh, so, I guess I'll just never use a um, healing thing ever again for the rest of the game. Uh, so, lion, um, leaf thing, and bird. Uh, lion, leaf thing. I guess it's an arrow. And bird... And we get a medallion. Uh, I'm gonna leave that here for now. Because we don't need to bring it with us. Um, we have something in the waiting room I guess we can go to. Uh, we also don't have any keys. Unless he gave us one. Oh, never mind. Um, there's that safe. <clears throat> now, do I have anything in my note here that mentions a safe? No. Okay. So... <clears throat> change floors. So we need to actually head back in here. That's where we need to go. Might be. Let's head back in there. But this time... We're going to be a gamer about it. We're going to be late epic about um, not getting hit by zombies. And also not being an idiot. <clears throat> mm oh! Yeah. Okay. So we use the knife on this. We can open this way. This oh is yeah. How I my first day. You look badass. So. You look cooler than his. The, the fucking lieutenant. Why the fuck? I guess it's because, um... I don't know. Why do they just give him like? Why don't they all have this? <laughs> like he has like the the body armor. He has like the the belt. He he has the whole get up, and no one else had this. 
No one else on the team has had this. Why? What happened? I mean, it's not like it would have done anything, but, you know, I'm just saying, like... It just doesn't make sense to me that he's the only one who has this outfit. Or at least I haven't met anybody else who wears this. Okay, so we have, um, ammo. This is the reception. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Huh? What? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm ready. Whoa. Stay back. We don't have any way of, of putting that up. Well, I already know what, what appears here, by the way, so... I already know the video game beats, but... It's pretty epic. Oh yeah, are you ready for a bi pipe to burst? Oh, hey. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you do your thing or whatever. Record events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make a the safety of the citizens uh, their top priority as, uh, as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. 25th uh, again. Uh, one of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. They, they killed an officer. Okay. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it um, to, uh, safely. Inside, uh, behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our uh, comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. Uh, September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. 12 people died, and uh, there's only a handful of survivors left. Everyone is falling into disarray here. David Ford. Well then, David Ford, what is this? Police Station 1F map. So we just have the entire map currently. Aw, oh, dude, the, I love that. The fact that it, it oh man, that, that's so good. I love that. It'll only go to where it needs to go. Okay. Anyways, I don't even know what the point of this is other than to just kind of give you some information like that. So, never mind. Let me shut up. So... Door here that we can enter. There's a, I guess, a window or something here, maybe? Uh, some more rooms. Oh, this might be, yeah, this might be a window or something. Uh, this is a, uh, this is blocked off, I guess. So I guess we want to enter here and then maybe see if we can enter the records room. We might not be able to come into here. Nothing on the, f uh, 
next floor. There's some stuff here that we haven't explored yet. So, big room. What is this? So we could enter through here. Can you not? Okay, so we have to enter this way. There's actually ammo over there, so... You're kind of in the way. I need that ammo. Dude, you're literally blocking it. You know I need that, right? Yeah, just go out there. Go on. Shoo. Go away. You know what? Fuck off. I'd rather waste, like, three bullets to knock you down for a second. Hold on. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I think she's dead. For real, for real. I don't think a, an alive person would ragdoll like that. So. They're dead. Forever. And then we enter through here. And then immediately get harassed by a zombie. Hey, do you have anything on you? You do. Yeah, give me that. Thanks. Oh no, a zombie. He wants to get the food. He's hungry. Are you hungry? You didn't notice me, right? Oh, you did. Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. You're being a little goober. You know that? Oh my god. What the fuck? Ah. Stop that. Dude. That's not cool. Are you actually dead? Can I have my knife back? Dude, that's fucked up. That's fucked up for you to do, man. What is this? Uh... So we have... 203. I don't think I can do 203. No. We have 208. I, I can't do that. Uh, we don't have the thing for that. That's the shotgun. I like shotguns. 109. We could do 109. 106. I think we could do all these. What the fuck are you doing here? Where did you come from? Wait, can I shoot... Can I shoot your foot? Okay, that doesn't do anything. Hold on. Oh, it does. Oh, yo. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You know what? Yeah, you, you do that. 109. Yeah, you just crawl there, I guess. I think that's one of them. What is this? Storage locker terminal. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess uh, find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know uh, who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck this up badly? I don't know. 109. Uh, we have... Uh, I think it's 108. Is that another one? No. 107? No. Oh, shit. Hold up. One, zero, six. Yes. One, zero, five. No. One, zero, four. No. One, zero, one. Okay. Well, that's pretty much everything that I can do. 
Yeah, it's 103. That's 102. Come on over here, buddy. I'm sorry for shooting your foot off, but not really. Alright, you enjoy that. And then I'm gonna grab these. Roll film. I don't know what that's for. Um. Come on over here. <laughs> it's actually even more sad because like the dude has like one arm oh that guy's just straight up gone oh no he's right there okay what's next so there's still stuff in there but there's nothing we can do about that uh we have the door right in front of me it takes us to the west office, and then we have this door over here, and then there's a path down that way, which takes us to some stuff. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. There's nothing over here, but maybe there is. Who knows? I don't think that zombie can open a door, so I'm just going to let him do his thing. Okay, so that's locked, so we have to go through in here, which I guess this is where that zombie was. Oh, no, he's right there. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the funny zombie that's gonna attack us when we try to do a puzzle. So we shoot him in the foot until, I guess, something happens. There we go. That was kind of a waste, but... Gunpowder? I don't know what the point of gunpowder is. Use of gunpowder. Two gunpowder equals handgun ammo. Gunpowder plus... High-grade gunpowder is yellow, that's shotgun shells, and then high-grade gunpowder times two is yellow is that. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention. When you're combining things, you won't get what you need. You won't get what you need. Okay. Is there anything in here? Ammo. Okay. There's another zombie, right? Make sure that that one's not going to be annoying. Come on. What's this? Operation report. September 28, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. Um, we're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof that there's even a tunnel or that there, um, the sewers aren't infested with zombies. But, I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a big shot, or it's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can... What I can about that tunnel. Okay. And this is... First, a rookie's first assignment, Leon S. Kennedy. Um, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Um, okay, input the letters in order um, of our desks. Uh, there are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured um, that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take, you, uh, take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Uh, okay. Lieutenant Barana, whatever. Scrawled on a corner between. Scrawled in a corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. 
damn. Uh. Almost there. Damn. Let's go. All right, this zombie's just going to be annoying. So can you just shut up? Please. No, I know you're still alive. Okay, no, he's dead. Okay, he 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 got me. He got me. All right, you got me, dude. I thought you were going to be a still alive, but I'm wrong. Silly me. <laughs> All right. So there's supposed to be so there's Rita Phillips? Is it the last name or is it the first name? Was it the last name or the first name? I didn't read it. With our first names. Oh, okay. So it's... S. So I guess it's... it's MRS. On this one. Uh... No. MRG. Okay. Yeah, I could just guess every single letter. And then it's D... 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 E... S? I don't fucking know. Uh... Oh, okay. I guess I'll try it F. No. So D, E, and then N. Okay. I guess I got that right. High capacity mag. <laughs> All right. Leon Kennedy, here's my desk. Woo! This is where I could have worked. Yahoo! <laughs> cool. I just want to be a police officer. You guys have anything cool on your desks? You're completely dead. You're not gonna get back up. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Why did this guy look normal? Was he like a police chief or something? What is that? Aww. Marvin Brana. Brano? Brano? I wonder if there's any clues to figure out what that is without having to guess. I don't think there is. I, I, I doubt that there would be. Um... Whatever. All right, I'm gonna head this way. Oh yeah, we got a cool extended mag now. All right, we got a roll thing. Okay, so um, we didn't get everything in this room. Uh, where else can I go? This is a spade door, but I don't have the spade door. Okay, um, so I can't open those, um, hmm. 
That's pretty cool. I don't think we've walked down this way. So maybe there's something over here. Oh no, I already did this. No, 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 my bad. Yeah, um... Can I climb back up through here? Or is that not possible? Yeah, that's not possible. Okay. So I have to find some way out of here. Open up. There is that one zombie that I didn't kill, but... Oh, this way. How did I have not gone this way? Stop doing that. Stop that. Now. That'll hold him. You better stop that. Alright, now we get to learn what combining herbs are. You can combine these two to make a more powerful herb. Welcome to a save room. Medical benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arc, the Arklay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs... Red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medical benefits. Okay. Um, they offer no medical benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces a blend that heightens the herbs' effect. It has been discovered that the red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to the doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. Um, depending on what year um, this uh, was written, uh, makes you wonder how long it took them to figure out uh, this, but you know, it's whatever. Another weird thing that I, I always see whenever you combine herbs together and they have them in like a form like this, um, in all the Resident Evil games, I don't know what I was going to say. I just feel like it, it would make more sense for them to actually mix them together. So this should be like two big piles instead of like two pea sized pile of, of ripped up herbs. Uh, but you know, whatever. And we can actually put stuff in here. I'm going to put one of these in here. Because we definitely don't need two. I'm going to store this in here. Uh, and do this. So it's a little bit nicer. Okay. This is a button. There's the music. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and collect all the loot. This is gunpowder. Whoa, gunpowder. There's that other gunpowder I should probably grab. And then throw them into here. Store them into here for now. Because, um, we will need them. This is a survival horror game. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Is this red herbs? Okay. Could have used that. I'm dumb. Yes. What is this? Commemorative photo. Okay. So is that put in there? I guess that it did. So if we turn 
this off. Hmm. Okay, wait. No music? You're not even gonna play the music for me? Alright, I'm gonna go grab that other gunpowder. It should be in here. Thank you. Alright. Yo, me IRL. No music? This upsets me, dude, because that's the whole reason why you come to these, like, s safe rooms, is to hear the music. And they don't even play it. Come on, now. So what about this photo that I have here? It's just, a. Uh, they have the book and they have the staff. That's what they need. Okay. Great, cool, thanks. Again, I should be using this. Okay. Play the music. Here, I'll turn the lights off. Okay. Play it. Play the fucking song. Play the song. Fucking dicks. Fucking assholes. You're supposed to fucking play the songs every time you're in the fucking room. Fucking piece of shit. Fucking bullshit. Fucking... Garbage ass fucking piece of shit game. Fucking. What's with all these like Resident Evil games and putting a. Uh, at least these classic ones and putting them in the um. Putting them in the uh. Like at like the bottom of the stairs. Alright, you can wake up now. I think you can literally see them slightly moving. If you look. I could also just not waste a bullet. And just wait. Oh yeah. Oh, hey. Boy. Watch this. Drop down. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Or, okay. It would have been funny if they just straight up fell down. But okay. Nice death. Did you see that? Did you see him die? Did you see him die? Oh shit, he's actually alive again. Hold on. Okay, he's definitely dead now. Did you see that? Damn. Here's the fun room. Uh the men's locker room. This is uh this is where the party gets started. It's what the uh the cool kids like to say. It's it's where the cool shit happens. Uh, I, I guess I could go upstairs. Let me see. What's upstairs? Nice. Still here, I'm just hanging out. Damn, I wonder how this happened. Uh CB CBD I I think that to open this one I think some of them require you to actually know like references or something <clears throat> I think. D D wait, is there an N? No. A B A B O 
maybe AC, DC. Fan. Fam. Fac. Fap. Uh, FAO. Dow. Dap. Dak. Okay. I don't know how to open you. I'm gonna go into the men's locker room, the, the fun place. It's where the cool stuff happens, you know? Wanna wake up? That's fine. You don't have to. You can just hang out there. Uh just do my own thing, you know. Hello? Ah. Can't enter the men's bathroom yet. Oh my god! That jumped me a little bit. Are you alive? I don't know if you're alive, but you, you scared me there for a second. <clears throat> it did in fact make me jump, but I... It was funnier just to not give like a wacky reaction to it. Press a... Okay, wait. Portable safe instructions. Oh, those things. These are fun. Press the light button to uh, to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them up. Um, light them all up to open the safe. Buttons are pressed in a certain order. Pressing the single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out and you'll need to start the sequence over again. Here it is. Portable safe. We're going to open that bad boy up in a minute. Any other wacky jump scares? Shotgun shells, okay. Um. DDN. DDL. DDK. DDP. O. N. M. Okay. Dim. DFM. Damn. Okay. Hey, do you know the password? I don't know the password. Examining items. I know how to examine items. What do you think? I'm stupid? Okay. Oh. No. I don't know if I did that or if the game just gave me a one-up for that. They were just like, yeah, sure. We feel bad for you. Alright, so we have a new spare button thing. Whatever. Wait, was there like a... Th is there something swinging past... Oh, there is. It was this thing. Damn. I like how I can only open a couple of these. The others are kept open for Claire. She can have those. I, I like to be fair. You know. Dude, you can calm down. Jesus. Calm down, dude. Calm down. Alright? You're being crazy. You're being absolutely insane. Uh, this room. 
No, wait. Sorry. This room. You're blocking the door. You're blocking the door. Come on. Come on. Come on. There, Jesus. Uh, which one do I want to do? Let me see. So if I do two, I could do 202, which, or sorry, 203. So I can't do that yet. So I, I guess if I just have to pick if I don't, if I want ammo or if I want, um, where is it? these two items which would actually probably be a little bit better for now well actually i can only pick one or the other uh gunpowder or knife i guess the knife w would be a pretty good option 103 either way i'm not gonna be able to do anything with uh i'm gonna put it here so we're gonna do um 103 Okay, I'm going to take that. Thank you. So we have 102 left. Uh, we have, let me see. We have 102. We can't do any of these, but we have that. So we have the two, uh, the two O stuff left, the two items left. All right, are you gonna break out of this at some point or are you just gonna hang out there? Hey, all right, you can just hang out there. I need to put some stuff up. No save room music still, they don't wanna play it. <sighs> you break my heart. Break my, you achy breaky my heart. All right, uh, move on. <laughs> Sam. So that's how they get around that, is the fact that he slams himself against it every time. His entire body weight, his or her. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything there, so we, we need to continue up much fun can't open those oh wait what are they just showing that there's a mannequin on the other side of this wall or what's what's the deal here oh I see key that's... I'm kind of afraid to go through this door now. Hello? Oh, shit. What in the... Hello? We have the spade key. I don't know what the spade key is used for. Let's see. Um, That's a spade door. That's a spade door. Okay. Um, uh, that's not a spade door. That's a spade door right there. And... I don't know where this goes, but this will take us somewhere. What? View files? What? Oh, so the Y button opens up the inventory immediately. 
Oh, I didn't even realize that. Might be. That's kind of... Alright. What are you, gunpowder? Okay. Boards. Yo, it's me! Hi! It's this room. Whoa. Leon, it's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. Copy that. I'll be right there. So there's this room. What is this? Hip pouch. Yo, hip pouch. Some guy's scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off. After all I've done for them. But that's how it's gonna be. So it be, uh, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in the steel pen and set up some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it. And it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon. So maybe I'll give um, that one raving loon something to really squeal about. May yeah, maybe I'll give him a little a little toy to tell him. Kill the guy next to you. And, and I'll spare the others. Uh, I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride. But how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, this is fun. Uh, I need some music for this. <laughs> it's a C4. For some reason, I can do something with it. Ammo. Okay. So, let me guess, as soon as I walk over this, it, it collapses or something? Or is that over here? I know uh, one of these parts, it, it collapses. Why else would they have this part here? This funny puzzle. Ow. <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, shit. This. Oh. Son of a bitch. Oh god. Ah. Fuck off. Ow. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm missing. Ah, shit. Who's this? Red book. Ethan Bradbury. You bet. Are you actually dead? Can I have that knife back? Thank you. Are you alive? No. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, I'm missing. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> no, what the fuck? Ah, oh, you got me. You frick, you frickin' meanie. You're a meanie, you know that? Hey, hey. You're a meanie.
broke my knife. I was using that. Are you jerk? Now I have to solve this puzzle. Oh, I can't. I actually can't. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, what? They're alive again? What kind of bullshit is this? Give me that. Thanks. Okay. Uh, this is the funny... Uh... Officer. Uh, let's see. So it's fish... Fish, uh... Lobster and, uh, thing. Fish... Uh, lobster and, um, pot thing. Leave it here for now. Uh, these guys just don't want to leave me alone, huh? Alright, fine. <laughs> Fuck off. I don't need no stinking gun, fucker. Yeah. Now what? I have a knife, bitch. Come on. Get out of here. Yeah, you're not coming back from that one. You freaking meanie. No information here. I'm gonna use this key. Alright, let's go talk to our friend who is, um, dying from a virus. There you are. Come here. Take a look. Jess. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor, east side. I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. You're the best, Lieutenant. I'll miss you. Rest in peace. Uh, you know what I could do? Is I could go back into here. Actually, it's literally right next to it, so I don't need to really go out of my way to go back upstairs to grab the uh, the medallion when I could just run through there and do what I need to do. I'm going to open this door up. Because, you know, be able to enter through here. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess we could go this way. <laughs> You know, check out these rooms. <laughs> uh, Jack? That's cool. Valve and the dial lock and, um, some other, you know, like a safe, I guess. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Uh, I guess so. Um, head back up. Uh, I should save. This is a saving point, after all. <laughs> Until it's not. Because what's funny about, um... Well, actually, no, um... Unless they changed that. I was pretty sure, um... What's his name? Ah, whatever. I don't even... I just don't know what I'm saying. Doesn't matter. Who cares? Any other doors? You can discard items that have served their purpose or any other items with a check mark by selecting the discard button. Okay, bye. Forever. Oh shit, the gunpowder. Shit, hold up. 
I, I gotta get rid of this gunpowder. There's no reason for me to be carrying. Actually, no, wait. I should probably mix some gunpowders together. To make some ammo. Because, as you can see, quite low. Because I've been wasting it. Like an idiot. Okay. Uh, give me this. Two gunpowder. And then, uh, uh, wrong button. Here we go. That's alright. Can't wait to not, uh, to have this radio and just never use it ever again. There's no reason to be carrying it afterwards, but, you know, I guess I'll just carry it just in case. See any other, uh, people. I like the, uh, the noises. It's kind of cool. What is this? I don't even... Okay. Art room? Okay. Whoa! Weapons locker keycard. Article. Art article. The red store. The ruby that captivated Edward, the Black Prince, the pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry, the diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end uh, to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest uh, to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once... a um, adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king this fall this stones uh, that oh uh, fuck me okay hold on <clears throat> restart restart this fall this stones that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction there are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there but dear reader, one who would well to approach with care, for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots. Or despots? De despots? 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 More terrible than Caligula. 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 And we have the tales uh, to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. Oh no. Jewels. Jewels. And? Why must the hand be missing? Alright, hold on. I'm gonna combine these two. Like a boss. And then come up to you and hand it to you. There you go, my friend. You offer me? What do you offer me? The scepter. The scepter. And then I examine the scepter. Can I take the the jewel in it? Yes. Red jewel, a key item, a pricey looking gemstone. Damn, it's just a red jewel. Look at that. Nice. Here, move it down here. We have to take this uh, plastic card to the uh, weapon room or whatever. I would probably want to do that now before we continue on to uh, through here, because 
Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what happens um, in if we go down this way. So we are not going to approach with reproach. We're going to go this way. Uh, I think we need to go down, 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 down to the bottom of the sea. Lag, lag, lag. I feel like the problem with a lot of these, um, games, like a lot of these newer games is that they're going to become much harder to mod as the time goes on just because of how much scripting goes on with it and it's just like nothing would compare it to nothing that modders could be able to do unless they had really like if they were really talented be able to fucking oh yeah okay nice fuck yes Fuck yes. Let's go. Fuck. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, buddy. There's zombies here. Nice to see you're still alive. But struggling. Do I hear? Oh shit, wait. I'm an idiot. I need to grab that ammo. What am I doing? Wait. What am I doing? Yeah, let me gro go grab that uh, shotgun ammo. No, that's the... this. I need this. Now. I need it now. <sighs> okay. Alright, we got some ammo. Don't have any more whatever for it. All right, it's time. You ready? Oh, that's not what I was expecting. My bad. Yeah, that's not what I was expecting at all. Damn, that's tough. Ooh, green herb. Hey! Leon? Claire! Hold on, I'll be right there. Okay! Oh, I, I, I'm getting vibrating on my controller. Claire! Claire. You. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. <gasps> yes! 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 Claire, I think you should go. Don't yes! Worry about me, yes! Take care of yourself. Cringe puns! Cringe puns! Yes! Claire, you need to go. Now. 
Okay, let's get through this, both of us. Uh, Marvin, I've got a situation here. I don't think Marvin's alive. I don't think Marvin's alive now, buddy. Marvin, do you copy? No. Marvin. I think he's he's not doing good. Sorry to tell you this, but dude's uh fucked right now. I think he he himself. Oh, whoa. What's this place? Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh shit. Um, hold on. Oh. Why, hello. What's in here? More zombies. Oh, great. Okay, there's a lot of zombies. Hold up. Flash grenade? Okay. Hold on, just give me a second, dude. You're kind of killing me here. There's like five billion things going on right now. It's just like I can't fucking deal with it. Hold on. You need to stop. You're you're kind of annoying me right now. So chill the fuck out. You need to calm down. Cause you're just following me, which is annoying. Um Okay. Uh I didn't really anticipate this part. So I think I bl I have only myself to blame here. But I do, however, have a flash grenade I can use. I guess I can just throw this down and then blind everyone or something. I don't know why, but that is a thing I can do. Yeah, you you keep doing that. What is this, gunpowder? I can't do anything with this right now. So... Okay. Is there any zombies in here? Oh shit! Whoa! It's what? zombie. Nice. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up, so I can actually. Um, enter here, and then um, I need to. Like, get rid of some things in my inventory. Okay. Just put this in here for now. <sighs> Fucking... Put this in here for now. Actually, wait, hold on. I'm gonna take this out, and then I'm gonna combine with this. So we can get some cool herb. Herb action going on. It's a medium amount of health. How much does this heal? Fully restore your health. Okay. I'm gonna move this up here. Some some stuff here. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So we have these cutting tools. I don't know if I need this or not right now. So, uh, I guess I'll hang on to it. And then I guess uh, our boy is is now a zombie. Right. You okay? Still alive. Yeah, but he's he's gonna die. He's literally on the at the point where he's just like gonna straight up die. So not really alive, but you know, kind of getting there now. Um, okay, uh, let's think about this, um, we have an upstairs here, this is where we were, I guess, before the explosion happened, there was a, a safe in here, and then a, a crank handle, which I guess we don't have, uh, I don't know where I need to go right now. Um, I haven't seen a third one, 
I think there's still th there might be something in here that I have yet to check out, but I haven't done that yet because I'm I ran all the way over here. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and save. Why not? Oh, this just got straight up barricaded. Alright. That guy's definitely dead. Don't think I ever went in here before. Ah. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Oh yeah, I've been in here. I don't think it's worth wasting it. Son of a bitch. Here, just break through the door or something. There you go. Come on. There he is. Nice dodge. Good recovery. And he sticks to landing. See, that's how you have to do it. That's how you have to fucking do it, Leon. You have to make really cringe jokes like that. It's not even, like, funny. It just has to be, like, a, supposed to be a joke, and it's... <laughs> okay. You know what? You, you, can, you can do with calming down, okay? I'll take this. Because I know where to take that. High grade gunpowder. Sure. Let's combine these. Here we go. Alright. Maybe he'll stay at that window. And don't bother me. Where are you? Nice. Where does this go? Oh, it's just a shortcut. Okay. Alright. Good to know. Uh, valve, valve, valve. Me trying to remember where the valve goes. Um. No. 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 Uh, right here in the in the shower room. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna go BRB real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go grab something um, from. I'm just gonna go grab a drink or something. So, uh, yeah, be right back. Hold on. Uh, hold on. I'll even put up the little BRB. Uh, be right back.
Okay, I'm back. I got me a. <clears throat> I got me a alcoholic beverage. Uh, and an orange. I'm gonna take a little sip from it. Um. Mm. God, this, that's so good. All right, hold on. I'm going to put an orange peel in there and let's see how it works out. Hopefully it doesn't fizz up like it did last time. I don't know that was an issue. Just going to slide it in there. So, and then drop it in. And then hopefully it shouldn't start foaming up yet. I think we're good. Make sure we're good. Yeah, we're, we're good. So then what you need to do is you put your palm, because my, th my thumb is too small to completely cover it, and then you slowly rotate it. So the orange goes to the, uh, floats to the bottom of the, um, of the, uh, drink so okay and now you slowly rotate it back um so you don't have bubbles start forming but the reason why you want to do that is so more of the uh, more of the beer gets more of the, um, the, um, orange. And there you go. You do the same thing with a uh, Corona Extra as well, but, yeah, with Blue Moon. I mean, you probably already fucking know this, but it's good shit. It's really good. And it's just like... <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I like I like the taste of coffee too, and the smell of coffee. So it's like, I don't. It's something. It's just like has like this mature taste to it. That's just like it's something else, you know. It's just like we're winding down. We're chilling out. We're we're just having a good time, you know. I'm going to let the computer calm down for a second. Um, so I'm just like, you know, why not? Hmm. Let's see. Um, so <clears throat> we have the valve. We need to go to the, uh, to the one room. So we need to go. I'm trying to remember using my brain. Uh, we need to go, I think it's, is it this way? I think this will take us to it, so we'll go here. I'm trying to use my brain to get to the, uh, to get to it. Yeah, it's this way? Yes. Hey. Are you going to break through that? Because I don't remember if these break or not. If it doesn't, then that'll work out. What? Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, you're... It's you! Dude, it's you! Hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Where's my knife? Oh, no, my knife, dude. Oh, shit. I kind of want to try out the shotgun on you, but I'll just... Jesus. I probably should just leave you. Shit. Yeah, I know you're still alive. Now... There you go. Now you're dead. Did you like that? Did you like that, dude? Yeah. 
Oh no, I'm an epic gamer. That's pretty sick though. Mmm. Okay. Maybe they weren't a zombie at one point and then they became one throughout that time that it took you to get to this point. Are you a zombie as well? No, you're still dead. Okay. Until you're not, but... Who knows if that'll happen, you know? <laughs> Shower. Boiler. Hmm. You want to fall over? Yeah. By the way, why was that zombie in the locker? The- from- Why was he in there? Now it's like I gotta like, back up for a second. I literally can't tell if you're dead or not, but... I guess that's the point. Does he know? Ooh, star's office. Okay, so yeah. This is the part. Alright. Look, I know some of the story beats, okay? Shotguns. Ah, uh, yeah, they want you to use the shotgun for this. Where'd they put- Where'd he put the- Huh. God's name. So, do I go aggressive or do I just try to sneak past it? Because this is definitely not a zombie. This is one of them, uh, lickers or something. Because if you walk slowly, you didn't hear that, right? Okay, good. You didn't hear that. Yo, darts with the boys. That would have been a fun Yakuza mini game if this was made by the same team. Uh, let's see. Combining items. Yeah, really? You can do that? No freaking way. Cool. Thanks for that. High grade gunpowder. That's for ammo. I'd have to go back and grab the other ammo for me to do anything with that. Um, shotgun bullets. Yep. Yeah, okay. Really want you to use that, huh? I think flash grenades are pretty good for this instance. Yeah, we don't have a knife, but that's how you switch it. We need a flash drive, I believe, for that. And this is locked. Insert dongle key into the USB port. Okay. Gun? So, in there... Looks to be a Desert Eagle. Exciting. What are you? You are a battery? Okay. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998. Office supply ter internal relocation notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe moved from Star's office second floor to West office one, uh, first floor. Your combination lock is nine uh, to the left. Okay, so left, and then you go to 9, then you go all the way to the right to 15, then left to 7. 
please change the combination ASAP, which I guess never happened. Um, so I guess this takes takes place in 1998 because I guess the outbreak happened in the, on the fifth, or, or or else it just took them an entire year to the date. I don't know. Um, hmm. Heat resistant. Number three combination safe. So West Office, first floor. Okay. West Office, first floor. So this one right here, there's a safe. Okay. I'll just look at that again when I need the combination. I don't know what the battery is for yet. Um, now, again, I have a choice here. Because I don't think I really... There's nothing else in here for me now. So now we need to figure out how we're going to deal with this liquor. Or whatever they want to call it. It moved. It moved further down. Okay. Well, since it moved further down, that's easier on us. Um, <sighs> sure. That'll save us some room. I could go grab that battery. Eh, whatever. I don't know what to use for it just yet. Does this actually work? No, they failed. They fucked up. Bad game design. They didn't account for Leon to stepping on that. I'm gonna switch to the pistol. I still don't even know if that thing can get up or not. Um. What do we even have? We don't really have anything. So we have to go through that way. Um, I'm going to drop off the cutting tool. Yeah, I'm going to drop off the cutting tool. Oh, actually, no, wait, there's the safe. My bad. Yeah, we have to go to the safe. But I will drop off the cutting tool for now, even though it's clear that we still need it. So, I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. Um, flashbang. Oh, yeah, the health. Okay, I can get rid of the health. Okay, uh, drop that into here. Get this up. We have a flash bomb, flash grenade, whatever. Okay. And then we'll head to the, um, to the safe. There's one thing that always annoys me about, um, running in games, especially if it's toggled, is, um, is the fact that there's no way for you to turn off the run once you once you uh, do it. So like if you're if you want to run for a little bit but you want to let go, you, there's no way for that to turn off until unless you stop moving entirely, which is kind of annoying. So I think it was nine, fifteen, and seven. I'm gonna try to remember this. So nine, I went the wrong way. Hold on. Nine, fifteen, seven. Uh, hip pouch. That's helpful. I will take that. Okay. Cool. Look at that. We got more pouches. I don't know if it actually shows on your person if you actually get more pouches or not. Um, that would be pretty epic. Because one of my favorite things about... Kinda... Like, some games... Is, um... I want the character to show that you are progressing through the game through yeah you see how i'm like not holding it down i need to hold it down i want to i want the character to show uh that you are progressing through the game by the look of your character 
Um, as you progress, your character should be evolving slowly if it's going to be a survival horror game. Not only in the guns, but also in how they are looking. So as you're getting, like, new upgrades for your character, like more item slots and stuff, it should really, um, show that. I know that requires, I know that requires, um, the team to pretty much develop new models pretty much every time, but... If there was any way to make that dynamically happen, that would be pretty epic because it, it it will help the character feel like they're making progression. And it's like, oh, look at this. And maybe I want to... Not only is the game fun, but I'm also progressing. I'm going to switch to the shotgun because we have to get past the... Is he up there? Where is he? Where is he? That got me. Okay, I have to shoot him. Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck, holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's definitely dead. And that's what you use the shotgun for. <laughs> I don't know, like, exactly how else I would be able to get past him. I think I had to... Shoot him. I, I don't know how else I'd get past him unless I um, did some testing. This is a spade door. Or spade? Sorry, diamond. I guess that's what it's called. Okay. So we're just back here. Okay. So I have a battery. I don't even know what the battery is for. We need a jack for that, a dial lock that I can't open from that, a safe from that, crank handle, and the second floor, or the third floor. There's a whole other, yeah, we can't even get to here yet. An explosive barricade, dial lock. I don't know if the explosive barricade even goes anywhere. Uh, dark room sink. There's this door, operations, chained door, locked door, what is this, a lock, locker's terminal, yeah. So, yeah, darkroom sink, um, yeah, I don't see, we're on the second floor, there's that item, there's the first aid spray, I guess I missed a first aid spray in there, didn't even realize that, lightning hawk. Um, hmm. I have no idea. I guess I could grab these, because why not? I'm going to put it back, too, because I'm, I'm just used to it now at this point. I might as well just put it back to toggle, because it is kind of awkward to do whenever you're playing with a controller. Like, holding it down is kind of awkward, because you'll often let go of it when you're not. You have to, st like, stop moving first before you can stop running. Just a little bit annoying. That's why I thought what toggle means, you know. But they don't do that. Oh. Zombie. I don't... So that goes upstairs, so if we were to go upstairs, this would take us to here, which is Explosive Barricade. Can't you just shoot that? Why can't, why can't you just shoot it? Why does it have to be? Unless that's what the battery is for. I'll see if that's what the battery is for.
confirmation kill. Um. No. All right. So can I hook a battery to this? Which is kind of a dumb thing to say, but is it a battery that goes onto this? No. Do I just shoot it? Is that a thing that I can do? No. Okay. Um, well, I am confused. All right. Uh, well, um, my character doesn't know how to jump unless prompted to with a, a QTE, so I can't go over that. Oh no, it's coming after me. <laughs> it came after me. Alright. Um. Still alive for now. I guess I will grab this. There's still one more. Uh, it's the, uh, this girl, which I don't think I've seen. Um, I'm guessing it's uh, a puzzle, maybe. Okay. Still alive. But struggling constantly and dying slowly. Slowly and I guess surely. Uh Gunpowder. I'm gonna combine you two to make more ammo because we definitely need it. Uh, for the pistol. Okay, and then a combat knife. I need you. <laughs> Remove that over there. Okay. Um, what do I need to do? Where do I go? Um... Chained door, right there. Okay, that's where we need to go. Because it's a chained door. I remember. I'm remembering. Hi. In honor of those who have served. You're damn fucking right. Looks like these zombies are about to get their... Second Amendment rights. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the frick? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the heck? Oh my god. Well, buy knife. Electronic gadget. Okay. Got it. An herb. Okay. Got it. What is this? Flashbang. Okay. Got it. Nail, nail board thing, okay. Alright, what is this? Where does this go? Back out here? Okay, got it. What are you, a heart key? Okay, got it. Okay. Whew. 
That was a close one. <laughs> Alright, uh, combine with this. This is a detonator. Okay. Detonate these nuts, I guess. I don't know. Um, detonator needs to go to... It's, uh, second floor. And, uh, ah, oh shit. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay. Um, I need to go, uh, back out into the main room if I can, which I can't from here. Actually, no, I can. I can rotate over here. Hold on. Let's figure this out. Okay. He's still alive. Good. Well, I lost my knife. Unless I somehow killed that walker. Um. I don't want to go this way. I need to go... Ah, uh, fuck. I need to go, like, down... Oh, shit. I need to go somewhere. I need to go to the third floor. Which, I I guess I go... Up here. Okay, up here. And then one more. Which takes us up here. I could go here. Or I can go down from the library. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Just... Library. Okay. <laughs> if only I could ju just jump onto that chandelier. Guess I'm not good enough just yet. I will be soon. Alright, here's the detonator. Alright. Nice. Why did I hear, like, a screeching noise? Huh? Hello? What's with the zombie? What do you- what do you- what is your purpose? How'd you do that? Ow. How do you do that? Okay. May I have this, please? Alright. Oh, it's a zombie. Okay. Um. Girl, arrow, and rope. Like, worm thing. Wait, what? This happens mid-game? Uh... Okay. Oh, fuck! Ah, shit! Ow. <laughs> Why did I react like a fucking... <laughs> like, movie character? 
Alright, uh, yeah. Give me that. Okay. Yeah, that's not my scene. I'm just not gonna waste my time on that, to be honest. I don't think I'll need to go in there ever again. Uh, yeah, that room's pretty much cleared. I uh, just never need to do that ever again. I'm good. Look at me preparing for the worst outcome. Are you a zombie yet? Hello? Okay. Alright, last part that's opened up. We did it. Hey man, I opened it up. I find I, I opened it. You see that? You see it? Look, it's open. So it goes underground. Huh. That's it. That's our way out. Lieutenant Brenna! Marvin! It's time to go. Hey, Marvin. <laughs> we need to get you to a hospital right now. No, no, I... Uh, save yourself. Come on, I've got you. Go! Look, we can still make it out of here together. You just can... It's too late. I tried, Leon, but I couldn't stop it. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. Just go. I understand. you down Marvin damn damn that's tough welcome to the save room look save music how long are they gonna play it this time He's already all dirtied up. I do enjoy progression. The character does, like, I will say, yeah, this game does show, char like, character progression as you're playing. So, I'm not saying that it doesn't. It definitely does. I'm gonna store this into here for now. We have shotgun ammo and regular ammo. And then we have this red jewel, which... I haven't found a use for yet. I don't know what it does. Um, I mean, I guess I could bring it out with me, but I, I, don't, I just don't know what it does. It's a red jewel. Just, it's a key item. That's about it. I um, guess I'll bring this with me. Oh yeah, there was that first aid spray I completely missed. Um, what is this? I do not have a part for that, because we're going to be coming back through these areas again. If you don't know, uh, this door does not open back up for a little bit, but it will eventually. Um,
So now we have a path. Whoa. Okay. You uh you do that. I'm gonna check out this area first. Is that a sink? No. Wait. Damn. Damn. Damn damn. It's a badge. Damn. Excuse me. Cleaning in progress? That is a big cleaning, like, clean sign. Huh. Alright. Oh, yeah. This is a, this is true survival horror right here. Fuck yeah. This is epic. Oh, fuck. Hmm. So, if you don't remember, there is a very famous boss fight in this game that is a character in particular that is essentially a guy who takes here he is I get he's already pretty far advanced in his person But you gotta shoot the eye um, that's on his shoulder. But yeah, so basically he, he takes this virus and it's basically kind of slowly been taking him over. We're gonna try to use a shotgun. I don't know if there's like a way to fight him. And he's like, kill me! But in the original game, he's a lot more um, interesting of a character because he doesn't start out with like. Yeah, grab these. Ow, fuck. Dude, you're blocking me. Dude, you're blocking me. I don't remember. Oh. I guess I'll grab this. So, I have to. Oh, shit. Yo, he's angry, bro. Oh, God. Wanna lure load. Which way is he coming? coming around. That silly goober. He's trying to juke me. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Fuck. No, ow. 
Ah, shit. I don't exactly remember how to fight him. Oh god. Oh god, oh no. He's coming. Which way is he coming? Oh, he's coming from this way. Okay. Oh no. Damn, where is he? Uh, how much health do I have? I'm in caution. Yeah, I probably should combine these and then use it when I need it. Oh my god, what the hell? Ow, fuck. <laughs> he fucking just clocked me. What an asshole. Good. You good? Where'd he go? Oh, God. Oh my god. Thanks, ladder sequence. Somebody's watching me. <laughs> I kind of feel like somebody's watching me. I'll take that. I'm doing okay on health because I did, in fact, a hand grenade. That would have helped, but in a panic. Of not wanting to get cornered, I uh, took the liberty of 
uh, not paying attention to that. And, uh, yeah. Nothing else here. Damn. Damn, shoddy. So we have a couple places we can go this way, which I guess gives us loot. Yes. Okay. Any other wacky doors to open? No. So we got some gunpowder as our um, reward. Is this a sure? Okay. I don't know if this is like. The sewers? I don't even know what this is supposed to be. I guess this is the sewers. <laughs> For some reason, this is under... ...the place. No music for this? No music. Okay. I just think that's kind of odd. Oh, gunpowder. I'll take it. Don't know what you're doing in here, but I'll... T I'll take anything I can get. <laughs> I'm gonna put the, uh, the grenade in there. I don't need it on me. Uh, I will, however, take this and then combine these two. Store that into here. And then, um, actually, I'll keep this and then I will put this in here. Yeah. Damn. Go off. But yeah, that's the, um, I forgot his name. I think his name is, like, William or something like that. And, um, he's, like, a character that, again, he's, he plays a major role in Resident Evil 2. Uh, because he's, he's one of the bosses in the game or villains in the game that evolves over time. And in Resident Evil 2, he's basically just, like, a, um, a wandering zombie, pretty much. And, um, in this one, he's already on, like, his, like, second form. But in that one, you can kind of see him kind of starting, um, to be one. And then you, he slowly becomes more and more, uh, whatever you want to call it. I am, I am not equipped to deal with, uh, to deal with the dogs. over here nothing yet okay I guess I can't go this way yet Come on. I'm exploring let me explore game nothing yet Alright, time to enter funny cutscene sequence. Actually, first I'm gonna... See, can I open that? No. Okay, funny cutscene sequence. Damn. Need a keycard. Hey! 
ear should be ringing. Who is that? Stay sharp. <gasps> Lower it. Who is that? Sorry. Thank you. For your help. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Okay. Thanks, female. That I, uh, I won't hey, definitely not. I'm not done talking to you. Thanks for turning on the lights. Tee Can I open any of these? I, f I have a feeling I can, but maybe I can't. Hey. Great. So the ammo. Take one of these. This is a police map. Whoa! A whole room! You a zombie? Well, you aren't now. How the fuck did you guys become zombies? Unless there's like a zombie, like an inmate with you in every single one. Uh, yeah. I guess technically. What about you? Okay, so yes. Uh, what the? What the? Hmm. So this is to introduce these. Hi. Yeah, if I open that, that would be a very good idea. Hello? Hey. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You've been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No. No, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's of course Irons sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Huh? Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in the station. So either we play nice and help each other out. He has a good reason, Shit. to be honest. What's coming? What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an asshole. Okay, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Who is that? It's just me. So I can put that thing away. Huh? I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? How the fuck can he get out of here? <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you this, but he literally can't get out of here. information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out. 
Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. You both kid. Ada. Ada. Ada? We both get really cool karate abilities in the next game we meet. By the way. <laughs> oh, what in the world? <laughs> that 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 perfectly represents like this game. Oh my god. That, that was like perfect because it is I'm talking about like in, in like classic games where it's just like an image. All that needed to be was to have like the CGI from Fallout like one or two. Where it's just like that like early 3D like cinematic CGI. Oh my god. It would have been perfect. Memo jail power. Power panel is out. Can the person in uh, in charge of it please take care of it ASAP? I assume everyone knows, but since the jail's power panel is old as hell, we're gonna need a custom power panel parts. Um, no one makes any more. There should be a few in the generator room. Adnum. Uh... I got word that there's only one of those power panel parts in the generator room. The guy that's here to fix the bell in the clock tower should have another. So, um, so someone swipe, I mean, ask him nicely for it. Okay. Well, uh, I don't think I intend on... I don't know if I intend on getting out of here. Um... Without pulling this switch, then taking that part and then running over there. But there's also a whole other section that I haven't gone to, and I kind of want to do that first. If I can. That guy's definitely dead, by the way. I'm gonna try to go through that other way and just see if there's something over there. Doggy. Alright. What the hell? The kennel? Experiment, uh, or equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed. Key, uh, key to car patro or patrol car 7439. Details. Bank key no longer usable, but can still open the car's door and trunk with its keyless uh, entry pu uh, buttons. Oh, okay. A box. Man, I wonder what's in this box. Let's find out. The well-worn key to, if you examine it, so it's car number 7439, that's kind of fun. What are you? Message from Mr. Raccoon. <laughs> Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today, I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular raccoon toys? Well, I heard uh, some bad kids have been using them for target practice. But that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous. So just don't do it. Anyways, see you at the zoo. Mr. Raccoon out. They've been using them as target practice. T -t 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 target practice. Why would they? Why would they do that? 
I wonder if you shoot these, do they get up? Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there, but these stupid zombies are here. They're being a bunch of jerks. I know how to deal with them. <laughs> hey, zombie. Watch your step. Oh boy. <laughs> it didn't even make any sense. Yeah. And that other zombie? <laughs> I don't care about it. You? You're not even a threat to me. I want this toy. I didn't even need to waste uh, my bullets on it. Oh, sorry for destroying the raccoon. Oh, you. Diamond. Oh, let me show you how to scratch it. I don't think I want to go to the kennel just yet. Alright. Here we go. Um. Over here? No. Was it not this one? No. Okay. <laughs> Tilda. Hey, look at that. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Okay. That's pretty epic. Awesome. I have to itch my nose. But now I have a, uh, a really good, um, whatever you call it. Okay. So we have another door down over here. I just want to avoid the kennels as much as I can. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Okay. Alright, I guess fine. We'll go to the kennels. Fine. We'll say hi to the doggies. <laughs> woof woof. <laughs> uh, woof woof. <laughs> woof. <laughs> you know, you gotta do it eventually, you know? <laughs> Uh, huh. <clears throat> Poochies. Me, right? They're dead now. There's no freaking way that they will harass me and attack me, right? Because I killed them all. Hello?
Damn, they really be doing this, huh? Damn. Okay. Why would I do this? Why would I want to do this? Why would you want to do this? No. You're going back in. No. Okay. I hate you. Okay. You can just stand there. Okay. I'm just gonna leave you in there for now. And I'm going to... Ah, yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. Stop. Oh, fuck. When did you get here? I don't remember you being here. Can you fucking die? Holy shit! That guy took so many shots! Ah, roaches! Hi. Hi. Well, guys. Yay, there's one. Alright. Can I combine all three of these? Green, red, and B. Fully heals, restores, plus it reduces damage taken and guards against... Reduces damage taken and guards against po poison for a short period of time. Wow. Okay, so what is this? Autopsy record 53477. Name of the uh, of deceased Justin Hansen, male, Caucasian, 39 years old. Observations found dead in jail cell. Um, bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, um, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Deceased was known was a known kleptomaniac and incarcerated multiple times uh, incredibly he would steal uh, even while in jail though that would uh, was consistent with his clinical di uh, diagnosis so what are you trying to say I'm gonna open up this one the one that was like all funny all right come on out Come on. Do your thing. Or don't. I shot you, by the way. Alright, you're next. Come on out. Alright, are you dead too? Guess so. Until I walk out of this room. little roaches all right so what was the point in any of this unless they have something on them let me check do you have something on you do you have something on you yes the key I need that good job all right, well, you enjoy doing whatever you were just doing. Where does this go? I think this is just a dead end. Ah, turn crank. Nice. I still have use for that, so that's good. Where does this go? Ah! New room. The 
first. Take a gander, okay. New room, new room. Oh. It's the generator room. Okay. Hello. Uh, box electronic parts. Oh, okay. So I needed that, right? this oh mm. perfect Damn, this shit's hard. This shit goes hard. Whoa, hello. Okay. As for the zombie, uh, we have to go around you. Okay. Yeah, I need to go around you because I don't have any ammo. Uh. All right, come on. That's kind of no fair that the dog can jump over that. That's a little OP. Alright, come on. Right. Oh shit. Gunpowder. Wow. Thanks. I guess that's everything in here. Well, I shot him, so... I have, like, no ammo. Oh, fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god. Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck. Ow. use this uh yeah ow I have three bullets left all right uh power on didn't work Oh, okay. Okay. Can I place that into here? Okay. So there's three other parts? What? 
Wait, where do I go then? Oh yeah, there's that one door that I opened over here. Oh my god. Okay, well. Rip. Rest in peace me, because I literally can't fight these dogs. Oh boy. Oh, what the hell? Oh, rip. Great. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I'm kind of safe for now. Great. Great. Okay. Shotgun shells. Oh boy. Bullets. <laughs> Oh my god, a safe room. Oh my god. I can get a hand grenade. That's kind of cool. Here, I'll store this in here and bring this. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's shotgun ammo. I need regular ammo. There we go. Okay. Mag ammo. Ugh. Electrical part. Okay. Um. I just wasted a bullet for that, by the way, so. Guess I'm saving. <laughs> okay. Magnum ammo can go in the here. Um, I need regular ammo. <laughs> I don't know if I need shotgun ammo right now, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Fuck. I'm all grimy and dirty now. I wish I could wear this hat. But Leon isn't cool. Enough to do that. Also, I got some Takis. Hold on. Really? That's all you play? I want to see what's in the fridge. This place still has power. Hmm. But yeah, we're up here now. Hmm. Anywhere near the safe rooms, I just don't want to deal with it. This one they can't break into, luckily, but this one they can. What about this one? Ah, uh, yes, of course, this one as well. Actually, has a zombie in it. Yeah. What about this one? Sure, why not? Let's make this whole room completely boarded up, because why not? Oh shit. Um. Hold on. 
You're still alive, but I'll worry about that in a minute. God damn it. I know. It's fucking bullshit, dude. And I know you're still alive. Yeah, you keep doing that. I'm gonna use this. I'll take this. Um, he's still eating that part of him? Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna run through. And just not worry about that right now. How many bullets do I have? Four bullets. Great. This is a bathroom. Okay. All right. Well then, our next spot will be upstairs because there's a crane candle here that we can use. So I guess we'll do that. Wasn't there a... Wasn't there a, uh... There's one in the clock tower. One in the gen... We got the generator room. There's only one. Yeah. Because the bell should have another. So I guess I need to go over there. So I have to go to the clock tower, which I guess is what I'm currently going towards. Marvin. Oh no. Damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I needed that knife, god damn it. I'll stop this, Lieutenant. I promise. <laughs> okay. No, that's mean. I'll stop this, Lieutenant. I may be completely fucked over, uh, basically on all accounts, but. Could have saved most of my ammo. I literally can't do anything to you, so I'm just gonna swipe you. Um. Yeah, I. I lost all my ammo, man. I have the stupid diamond key. What can that go to? Over here to the linen room, linen room, whatever. So there's this room. This goes somewhere. This goes to two places. To a basement. Ah, oh, god damn it. Fuck that. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Where does this go? Hold on. 
Hold on. Where does this go? Where am I? This is the first floor. There's two rooms here. And a bunch of zombies that I don't want to deal with. Got it. I think I have one... Whatever you call it. One barricade. Actually, two now. Okay. What is this room? This is to a balcony. Okay. Oh my god, ammo. I got ammo. Uh, another funny hat. It's the same hat. This goes to each east storage room. I don't know if I want to be in here. I don't think I want to be in here. I think I'm going to go to that one room with the key. That I now have... go down. I need to go on the other side. Okay. I also should grab this first aid spray if I can. Okay. <laughs> He's definitely dead this time. Because my character said something about it. I'm getting notifications. Why am I getting notifications? Never mind. That's nothing important. Wait. That might be important. No. Thanks. Yes, gunpowder. Okay. I can use this. Thank you. Yay. Fun. Oh, I see. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Um, no. I solved it. I solved it. I so I saw so I solved it. Oh.
Okay. gonna make me waste a bullet. I don't know how to open that. Uh, jack can't do anything. Can't do jack with that. Yeah, we need to go. Um, somewhere else, right? Let me see. Cause we have the. Okay. Uh. Basement. There is a door here. The firing range that I missed completely. So I'd need to come back down from here, come over here, then through here, and get to that door. I even missed in the kennel high grade gunpowder, which I don't even know if that's worth it anymore. The morgue, apparently, I'm missing something in the morgue. I don't know what. I thought I got everything. But I guess I didn't. So uh, I don't know. According to this game, I miss like half the stuff. So um, break room. Okay. So we need to go downstairs. Through here, past the Watchman's Tower, and to here. Unless we can just enter it from over here, which I don't think we can. Let me see. I don't think we can get to it from here. No. We have to actually go all the way back around. And then I think we have to get a valve or something for it. Um. So. Alright. Time to... Get past all those funny zombies. No. The funnies. Oh, I can actually get rid of this now. Alright. I'm actually gonna put this first aid spray in here. I still don't know what to do with this. Oh yeah, I need to do this. That's right. Hold on. Um. Over here. Come on. Oh, great. Here's what I'm thinking. We book it. Oh my god. Okay. Two oh three and two oh eight. I think we'll have everything in here. And then... Let's see. 
I'm gonna grab the ammo first, just in case a random funny event happens. Where it basically is like... Yay. Alright, is this room um, filled up? No. There's apparently more that I'm missing. What? Ah, 102. Okay. Okay. Now, it is done. This room is now finished, which means we're going to immediately book it past this room into here. Into here. And then book it all the way through here. Past these into he uh, down here, over here, to this room. That's how we have to do it. You ready? Run. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Now, uh, do I have gunpowder in here? Do I have gunpowder? Uh, I have high velocity gunpowder. Which would mean I could get more ammo for the shotgun. Uh, but I have the feeling I should keep it for more ammo. <laughs> okay. I will think about it. Hmm. You have to get past these two zombies. There he is. Poor thing. Oh, fuck. Okay, all right, now we just need to... Get over here. <laughs> That's it? Roll film. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Same. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> We need to- I'm gonna try to get that high-velocity ammo from the kennel. God damn it, there's fucking dogs. I've changed my mind. I'll come back for it later. I- I'm just not ready for it. Really? We're gonna do this? You know what? Come here. I don't want to deal with you. God fucking damn it. How the fuck do you survive a shotgun shell to the head? How? How do you do it, huh? Oh great, he's still alive. Great. Oh, there's more in there. Awesome.
<laughs> okay. All right. This game, I don't know about the original, but this one got it right. I can tell you that much. This game has got it right with the survival horror. With the amount of drip feeding that I have gotten. The, the, the amount of drip feeding. It's just... It's really good. They did a really good job with, um... With this. Just... I'm barely getting any resources. I, I don't know if anything's gonna come from this red jewel that I got. Um, I need to go to the one break room, which is the dark room, which, um, the only other way to get to it with, um, to avoid the liquor would be to go from the ups, uh, from the library upstairs or downstairs or, yeah, upstairs through the lounge, all the way through here, and through this, and then down the staircase, to then get the third floor, which is this one right here, lock, and then get whatever is supposed to be in there. And I don't know if this is, um, I don't know if this is an optional item or not, you will see. the zombies hmm it's a lot of dead here and it's still raining by the way Need to go down. Oh fuck! <laughs> that fucking scared me. <laughs> Dude. Oh man. Got me good. DCM. Okay. I need, I need, I need as much ammo as I can get for the pistol. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Okay. Let's try to get through this room without learning. Yeah, the, those guys are something else. I tell you what. Do you see him? No, stop. D. C. M. What's in here? What do we get? Magnum ammo. <sighs> 
Okay. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I don't remember. Uh, I guess I need to go all the way down stairs. I need to go through the break room again. And then I need to explore, I guess, the second floor? Or where is it? Uh, right here. I need to explore this. So I need to go over here and then... Or not uh, over here, but I need to go up these stairs, which are in the waiting room. So I need to go over here, then up here. And or down, not up. Up takes us to east storage. Oh yeah, east storage. That's another one. So we have balcony and east storage. So this would actually take us up here. And then this would take us to the clock tower. Oh, okay. I'm going to try... I guess I don't need to go into these rooms yet because there's no reason to, but, um, I mean, I could try and see what I can get out of that. Uh, I could try that. Okay. I just need to head my way back over there. Wait, wrong way. Or can I go this way? I can go this way. There's anything over here, is there? To any survivors, consider this a gift for anyone who's unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes um, peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they're skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they, they're hearing more than makes up for that. So as long as you don't run around like a total idiot guns blazing, you should be able to slip right by them, probably. Either way, make... Like my grandma and keep, um, creep around as slow as possible around them. Yeah. Anyway, not that I want to go. But duty calls that I give. I've, I've got a friend to avenge or something. Okay. Just a, a guy named David. Great. There's one in there. Oh, fuck. Jesus, dude. <sighs> <sighs> uh, dude. <sighs> Fuck, man. Okay. Well, um, guess I'm avoiding that. Okay. Ow, I hurt myself. I hate these zombies and monsters, dude. They're annoying. All they do is fuck up your shit. A locker I don't know the combination to. We want to go this way. Okay. So I guess I'm going to try going downstairs and then locking that window as long as it doesn't get broken yet. Here. Let's see. I 
That's a heart key. Okay. Is this high grade? Uh, okay. This is the, okay, clover, or whatever. Oh my god. Okay, so we don't go through there just yet. But we will. Teehee. We will. Bruh. So we have a balcony. There's a funny zombie in there. Guess it went the other way. Alright, I'm gonna try to shoot at it. Just a normal zombie? Son of a bitch. A large gear. Okay. Why? Oh no. Oh fuck. You're not dead yet. I know you aren't. You're definitely dead now. I need to learn to survival horror better, shouldn't I? Because <laughs> I am not doing a good job at survival horroring. I feel far more in danger than before. Uh, that's that. What, is, what does this door need? It doesn't mention it, does it? That one does, but I never o tried to open this one, so let me see. It just doesn't open in general. It's locked. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. So we need to get the jack. Which is not in here. We got a large gear to something. I don't know what yet. But it is in fact a large gear. And I don't recall a room needing a large gear so far. Um, entrance. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's a card reader. This needs an electronic door panel. It's a custom part. Obtained electronic parts. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. So it says we have obtained them. So is this a Hmm. No. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take this. Wait. It will fully restore your health. Never mind. I will not take it just yet. I will wait. Patiently. Oh, so patiently. I think this is going to start a certain thing. Ouch. Damn it. We 
check over here before I continue. Where does this go? The boiler room. What's happening in the boiler room? I don't know if I want to test it out. Ammo over here, thank god. Woo! Couple more bullets. Okay. I know what happens, dude. I know what fucking happens. I don't want to do it. I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I know what fucking happens. Okay, you know what? I'm not doing it yet. I know what happens. I'm not gonna let it fucking... I'm gonna go and see what this funny noise is, first of all. Because who cares, you know? Oh, great. They give you a bunch of these. I wonder why. Wink wink. Wink set camera. You know what? I'm gonna eat this now. I wonder why. What could it be? A couple zombies. God fucking damn it. Nice. Shit. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Key. Someone lose a key? Ha ha he ha ha ha. Okay. I need to clean up my inventory real quick. So... We have a red jewel. I don't need this right now. Don't need this right now. I definitely don't need this right now. Um, I don't need this for now. Put this in here. Definitely put this in here. Okay. Now we have a cleaner inventory space right now. Uh, I don't know what the large gear does. So I'm just going to take it out and put it like here. I don't know what it does. But... What I do know is, um, I'm fucked in a, in a minute. I know that. I'm, I'm gonna get fucked up. Okay. So what I need to do <laughs> is I need to... To play Ring Around the Rosie. Oh man, oh, I'm gonna hate this dude. Okay. Thanks. Alright, you ready? That's the scary part. Run! Fucking run. Jesus Christ! Here he comes. Here comes Mr. X. The man himself. Hey. 
Alright, you ready? This guy is fucked. This guy is fucked up, yo. Okay. He will fucking follow you everywhere. He is a fucking psycho. He is literally gonna chase you down to the end of time. Just watch. If you feel safe now, you're not safe. <laughs> when you think you feel safe, you're not. Um, so I need to take this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh,. Maybe it's not a jack. It's not. It's not a jack. Um, where the fuck does a valve go? Like a a giant valve. Cause. Okay. So wait. No 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 wait. We have the club key now. We have the club key right here. So what we need to do, is we need to make our way back downstairs. Oh god. Yeah, we're gonna have to go the long way. <laughs> but. Once we go the long way, uh, I think actually if we take this down, so this is the second floor, we take it down to here. Oh god, there's the liquor though. So that wouldn't work, would it? Because now I have to deal with the liquor, and I don't have ammo to deal with it. I'd have to try to avoid it. Which I can't do. So the only thing I could do is to immediately turn around and go downstairs. That would probably be the best course of action. Okay. Oh god, he's coming. Oh, come the fuck on. Really? Ah, oh, fuck. Ow. I, I can't deal with this, man. Really? Ah, oh, come on. Really? Okay. Fuck. Really? Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> dude. Dude, come the fuck on. I can't fucking do this. I can't do it, man. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> come on. <laughs> dude, I can't fucking do it, man. I can't fucking do it, dude. <laughs> okay. Just fucking save. Holy shit. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. That's just too much, man. No, oh, uh, that's... Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Everything. Oh, my God. Everything was just, I genuinely, like, right then and there, like, right when the zombie bit me, 
I legitimately was just like, I I need to fucking stop. I need to stop. I need to stop, dude. I'm I I can't play. Can't play. I'm literally dead. But thank God, Mister X is nice and just decided to stand there. Um, oh my God. Fuck me, man. <laughs> dude, that that was genuine. That was genuine fear. The fucking, and then on top of that, they're throwing, li just, there's just a liquor there now, and then fucking, there's like that entire small, like, closed corridor room of zombies, and then there's the two zombies that were there from earlier that opened up that door, and they were just there, and they both happened to miss me. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck me. I don't know if I can keep playing. I feel like I'm gonna fucking throw up. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fucking vom. I'm like fucking scared. I, I wanna go do the puzzle. But I'm like... I have to... I have to like solve that puzzle. So then I can get up to the clock tower. <laughs> I don't... Fuck man. I'm just gonna... Oh man. I can't. I... I've done so much. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. Fuck that, man. Oh my god. Holy shit, man. That was fucking genuine, like, actual, like, fucking... Holy shit. Mr. X is, is so good. Oh my god. I don't remember it. I don't know if Mr. X was in the original game. Or if he was only appears in this game. Or this is like his first somewhat first kind of experience the first comment i read is i want leon to fuck me i found this review helpful holy shit mr x That that whole part there, oh my god! You you can't like that was, that was a dynamic situation that occurred because that entire room was just laid out with a bunch of zombies out of nowhere, and then I just ran through it because I didn't want to wait. I clearly can't spend all my bullets on them, so that was kind of obvious. But then I ended up having to run through there again. Because that's what I happened to end up trying to do to get into that one room. To get a item. And then there was a door in there. The other door needed a heart key so I couldn't get out. And then Mr. X walks in. And then the fucking zombie walks in. And then the zombie blocks me from being able to get out without taking damage. And then... Oh, man. Holy shit. Hats off to you, game. Oh, man. So, I'm gonna watch the stream. Um, I'm gonna watch a little, like, just go to the, like, and watch, like, 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, 30 seconds of, of the stream today and see if the recording was all right and it wasn't too bad to watch. Hopefully it wasn't. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, fuck me. I guess next time we play this, uh, fuck, man. I, I'm terrified. <laughs> Mr. X. Holy shit. I was like, I was literally like, my, um, my legs were weak. I felt like I was gonna fall. He was just so big and massive. 
It's just he was so overpowering. I knew that if he if he touched me, that'd be it. Anyways, uh, I have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, fuck, man. Uh, terrifying stuff. I tell you what, that was, that was awesome, but also scary and not fun, but fun. If you know what I mean. So yeah, have a good morning, good day, good night. Um. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night. Uh I'm gonna uh I'm gonna go ahead and go and maybe I'll hopefully maybe I'll stream on Sunday. You know the <laughs> Super Bowl's happening on Sunday. <laughs> Let me play a song. This is this is a, an ad. This is not a, a song. I'm gonna play my favorite one. This song's awesome. Anyways, uh, okay, uh, I go now. Um, see you hopefully Sunday.